Hey everyone, it is Max Bone King, and I am back. And I'm doing, um, I did just ignore the chat, a mod showcase on da -da 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 either mod. Now you might be thinking, dude, this mod is old. Why you review it now? Well, I'm reviewing it now because either tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to do a, like, Let's play either mod series, so I wanted to go over everything, just so anyone who hasn't seen the mod is familiar with it. So, I'm not the regular guy who goes ahead and sets up before. I'm the kind of guy who just goes over everything, and... Yeah. So, yeah. First, we're going to show you how to actually get to the either. So, first you're going to need some glowstone... 10, to be exact. I'm going to show you that this works in survival layout. And you're going to need a water bucket. And then you're going to put yourself in game mode 0. And then you're going to make it just like another portal. And you do not need the corners, just like another portal. So, yeah. And then what you're going to do is, as soon as you have that, you're going to put a water bucket, and you're going to get that. So, as soon as you walk through this... Oh, yeah, by the way, it does have its own beret of achievements. Here, I don't know why I said beret. I don't even know what beret means. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to get one. As soon as it loads in. Hostile Paradise. And that's the achievement music for this. So, this is what the Aether looks like. It's it's very much like the Overworld. It's got, like, Overworld counterparts for nearly everything on the thing. And some things are completely original. So, basically, um... It's got an entire, like own page because it's basically like another a second minecraft it's really cool so basically you've got building blocks oh yeah, by the way that is the portal noise that you're hearing right now and so you've got um the just a lot of stuff and i'll go over everything like there's uh, i'm not gonna go over everything because i want to keep some a surprise for when i'm actually doing this series but i'll keep the basic stuff so you're in the aether right so what you want to so what you want to do is just treat it like the normal world, but digging straight down is even more dangerous in this world because you don't got a lot of time to save yourself. And falling out of the world, oh hey, what is that? Um, falling out of the world will put you back. It, it will not kill you. It'll put you back in the real world, but then you'll take fall damage unless you land in an ocean. What I like about this is that if you build a portal, like, way down, like, if you were to build a portal here, and it'll teleport you to where, um, it is in the world below you, and not just some random spot. So, basically, if you build a portal right here, and then I dig a hole straight down and jump through, they'll both be in the same place. Well, they won't be in the same place. It'll be a block apart. So, yeah. So, here are the Aether blocks. We've got Aether grass, Aether dirt, holly stone, and mossy holly stone. Or holy stone, whatever. I say holly stone, I don't know why. It's just the way I pronounce things. So, let me go through everything that you're going to want to do in, like, basic ores. So, for, like, basic stuff... You've got either dirt spawns all around you, and dig down a little, or either grass. You got either dirt, so we covered that. There's also sky root trees. Cut this down just like a regular tree. Put it in the crafting table. It's all the regular recipes. Um, I don't know the recipes for everything. Like I don't even know what this block is, but. There is just a lot of blocks, and I can show you. So, like, basically everything is the same, like, using, like, uh, like three skyroot wooden planks and three wool. There's no, like, skyroot 
wall or like wall will get you this and making like a skyward sign but the only problem with skyward signs right now or at least in this is oh weird last time i tried this it didn't show up on the sign never mind um so yeah basically if you dig down a little bit deeper you're gonna get holy stone and then, as you can see right here you've got ambrosium or ambrosium and then you can also find xanite as you might have saw before you can find gravite which is like the diamond and then this you might wonder what it is i'll explain to you later what that is so there's also uh or that i show you this is con tomium it's ex it's like really rare and when you mine it you get uh where is it it's no it's got to be a, yeah con contanium orb and you can just read the whole description so basically if you mine a few pieces of contanium and then go in survival they'll give you a random item like i'm pretty sure they can be anything from regular minecraft or the mod like i just got a jelly pumpkin a wooden pressure plate and six sandstone slabs so it's pretty random it's pretty fun to open these and so yeah so xanite will give you a xanite gemstone when you mine it it's all the regular oh you might want to notice gloves now um so gloves are a thing they are here for all the other appropriate ores so what you need is you're gonna need two of the appropriate item put them in the crafting table and you got gloves so yeah you don't really it's kind of simple ex explanation there and then all the armor is just the regular recipes like like a helmet is crafted like this and like the chest plate is like this and you get the idea hopefully if you don't well then i'm sorry so yeah so basically there's also grav it gravitite grava grava grav something i don't know exactly how to pronounce it but all i know is it's really cool and you have to put the gloves on right in the accessories you can't put on there's no like regular armor slot so basically if you're wearing full grav oh yeah there's no there's like no like leather equivalent and you might wonder what all these are i'll get to those later so you this is gravidite so if you hold like whatever your sneak button is and whatever your jump button is you will get a super jump which jumps pretty high and you need to be wearing the full set and that includes the gloves so if you're just go ahead and play the mod and you mine some gra i hate how it's kind of annoying because you have to go to the accessories and fully clear your inventory to get rid of the gloves but so you might wonder what this is and then also you also might wonder sorry ignore the dogs barking um yeah so basically this is gravity ore and whenever you place it it'll float up if it in like creative but since it usually spawns on like the bottom or in the middle of like the islands it usually won't do anything so basically i'm gonna put it under a tree here so basically when you mine this you'll get this and then there's also an altar so basically an altar what an altar does it is craft an altar is crafted by um putting uh Oh, all the gravity's falling down. Or gravity tours. So basically, an altar is um, made by putting holy stone, or yeah, holy stone, surrounded by a piece of xanite in the middle. So you can kind of imagine what that looks like. So what you're gonna do is that ambrosium. What you're gonna do? Oh, you can also turn ambrosium into torches. And there's also holy stone like sets. Those give you, it, if you like, it, there's a chance of dropping ambrosium. And there's also um, skyroot, which is double drops. They'll drop whatever it is doubled. Xanite has grow stronger. I don't really know what that means. And then the gravidite stuff, um, what it does is, well, you can click like stone with the pickaxe and it floats up. So I assume like the shovel does it with grass and then the um the axe 
just does it with like wood. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I don't really know what the sword is because if you click an enemy with the sword, it just blocks. But it's a pretty powerful sword. So yeah, I don't know what Xanite's grow stronger means. In the full armor, um, only the full set that you only um full um gravite will give you an ability. Not full Xanite will not give you an ability. Only only Xanite won't give you an ability. So basically, back to altars. You put ambrosium shards onto the altar, which makes it spin round and round, kind of like this. So basically, if you put like a lot of stuff into the altar you get um you get like an equivalent so if i put that in the altar it's gonna give me enchanted gravite and you craft the um the gravite using like you craft gravite armor using this not the actual ore and you don't smelt the gravite you have to um like do the regular recipes so like this for a chest plate like that's the item form let's just say so yeah and putting a lot of other stuff on this will give you stuff like putting a dart shooter and darts will give you stuff but i'm gonna save a lot of this for the actual thing so i'm gonna go quickly over or this like like mod playthrough thing i'm gonna do so basically, there are there is one like dungeon in this version of the Aether, and this is the Labyrinth Totem Golem. So it makes like a special sound, and it asks you like a thing. And so if you hit Enter, it'll give you an achievement. And then dungeons look like this. So I'm just gonna grab myself some torches. I'm pretty sure Ambrosium or Ambrosium torches have the same amount of things as like light sources as regular torches so basically you might find like guys that look like this so if you find a guy that looks like this then you're gonna want to kill it because one second let me just enchant i forgot um so basically just you kill the um as soon as you kill it it will get so these you can only find these in here but they will spawn randomly in your dungeon so basically you're gonna have to explore sometimes you're gonna have to explore a lot and usually if you where you like first start out at the beginning if you go straight down there's usually well there's always gonna be this door and there's gonna be the usually at least one boss so basically um Another thing is you might notice that there's, like, keys in the corner right here. And it says 1 out of 3. And before I kill the boss, it says 0 out of 3. So you have to find three different bosses before you can get the main boss. So I'm going to kill this guy. He's a little bit glitchy right now. He's supposed to, like, open up his eye and turn into legs and, like, shoot stuff at me. Maybe he'll do it if I'm in survival. Come on, dude. So these guys are pretty difficult. I either, I reckon full iron will, there's a chance that it might, like, make you die. So full iron, full xanite, um, are the iffy, yeah, this is what it's supposed to do. And it shoots those, like, red orb things, and those will do damage to you. So basically, um, if you have, um, full iron then i don't i sort if you're like a really good like fighter you could do it but if you're not really that good i don't recommend doing it but if you've got full gravidite yeah i recommend going into a dungeon because you can probably complete it then with your super jump and all that so basically um you get like little dungeon like there's spawners for mobs and here's some of the mobs you've got the um get back here You've got a tracking golem, which if I was in survival, if they turn red and they make you look at them. So you have to kill them, or else they'll just make you look at them. And they make this weird noise. So there's just stuff in the chest. And yeah. So I'm going to spawn in the last boss, which looks like this. Which is kind of, it looks like a gear, and as soon as you smack it... 
um, you it shoots off other gears. So this guy, I I believe, I think is the most difficult. That's just my opinion, and I think he might actually be. So basically, basically the gears that are flying around, they come off his body. They'll damage you. So there, it's kind of hard because you want to avoid getting hit by the gears. So it's kind of hard, and as soon he just turns into this eye once you get him down to decent low. Because it's like every few hits you'll um win. So he'll you find him somewhere around the dungeon. You usually have to search a lot. Like there's a ton of like different ways to go. And like this is you can just place a totem if you're uncreative. But to get these in the regular like aether, they'll spawn in the aether and they spawn in like a cool like dungeon setup. You'll just see them, you'll hear the music. It's kind of obvious. It's made of like all this special stone. So basically you're gonna see this door. So once you've killed all three of the bosses, you're gonna do this. Which leads you to the main boss. He looks a lot like the second guy we fought, but he is not. So basically, as soon as you, um, darn it, you have to use a pickaxe of any sort to kill him. Yeah, nothing else will work. And so, as soon as you hit him, it starts the boss battle. So you can't leave. All, like, by the way, the, the ones that, like this, are unbreakable in survival. So you can't just do this. So I am going to put on, let's just say, full gravite armor. And then I'm going to try and fight this guy. I'm probably just going to go ahead and put on a golden apple so I don't die. I'll just give myself a stack of enchanted golden apples. So basically, this is the final boss. He's pretty hard. So he has a lot of health, and you just have to kill him. So a good strategy for taking him down is let him get on your head. Here, I can show you. So, if you get him on your head, it t kind of takes a while. Just like this. You can damage, you can, um, you can damage him without him damaging you too, too much. So, I do, so, yeah, go golden apples are key, and, yeah. So, he's a pretty hard boss. Let's just say that. So, I'm gonna switch back into this, and so, I'm just gonna go ahead and, kill this guy real quick and so in the door you can in creative you can break the door but if you're in survival you cannot break the door and sometimes it'll like glitch out but it's still cool so he's pretty hard and as soon as you get him down into you'll see it as soon as, soon as you get him down into like this around this area he'll turn red which i'm pretty sure makes him like go faster and makes him attack a little stronger so you, you gotta finish him off and as soon as you finish him off you get a ton of good stuff so basically i got 11 lightning knives a farco liar helmet and neptune gloves so basically those are good loot so i'm gonna explain to you so all of this you can get in dungeons. I have no idea how to get obsidian armor, though. No idea. But you can get all of this in dungeons. So all of the um, armor will give you a special ability. So they can also drop weapons, like these special weapons, flaming swords, holy swords, lightning swords, lightning knives, hammer of knots, which is really cool, varkalar lance. So if you put on the full set of most of these, they'll give you a special ability. So I'm just going to demonstrate demonstrate with this so the varka lie set i have no idea how to pronounce that will give you wings in which allow you to fly but not just like the creative fly it's a like a so basically you can hold space for a few seconds and it'll um give you that so all the abilities for the armor so basically the phoenix armor will give you fire resistance and you're immune to fire when you're wearing the whole thing and then obsidian gives you slow movement but extreme protection the neptune say it says walk on water right well that's not actually what it does it just makes you go down super fast in water instead of like taking a while and i'm pretty sure your air bubbles pop like a lot less and you go a lot faster up water and so this gives you wings and yeah 
So, you can also get these weapons. Like, this one is, like, you hit a mob, you get some life back. This one sets them on fire. This one does extra damage to undead. This one spawns lightning. Lightning knives you throw. Hammer knots you can do. I don't know how to get the candy cane. I... I don't know, but there's also the Farquhar Lance, which has, like, extended reach, so you can hit from kind of far away. It's pretty far away. It's really useful. The so Hammer of Notch is, like, a, like, a radius effect. So, basically, you can all, there's a cooldown for it. It's, like, pretty powerful. So, in survival. And if you, it does, um, da do damage. And Lightning Eyes, you throw will spawn lightning wherever they hit. And, yeah, it does use it up. So, there's also Pig Slayer. I'm pretty sure it does an extra damage to this. The Dart Shooters, I don't know how to get the Phoenix Dart Shooter. And I am i won't go over the Dart Shooters in this, but I will go over it in my, like, either survival thingy. Which I'll either do tomorrow or on the weekend. I don't know. So, basically, yeah. There's also Companions, which you can get in Dungeon like chests and from the big boss so like in these chests oh yeah sometimes when you open up a chest it'll turn to one of these which is a mimic so there's like ambrosium whatever torches and like construct bowls you can't eat construct bowls i thought you could but whatever so basically in the accessory slot in your inventory they call um your inventory your backpack Eh, I don't know why. So basically, the Everall Stone is a companion. He gives you, like, invisibility. So, I'm um, invisible. And these potion effects are from these. The, um, invisibility does not have the actual particles. So you can name your companion, like, anything. And you just have to hit apply, and it'll apply. So, like, different ones give you, different, like, this one gives you slow fall. This one gives you, like, when you die, it'll heal you. And, yeah, I like this one, because it dies when you heal you. This one gives you, like, faster speed. It's really cool. So, those are kind of companions. So, I know this isn't, like, a full mod showcase. And don't go in the comments saying, this is a stupid mod showcase. Duh, you didn't show me anything. That's because a lot of people actually know this mod and are kind of familiar with it because it's pretty popular. So I'm just going over it slightly to see for my either mod in survival to get people used to it. And there's um like there's also some like mobs that like spawn regularly, like MOAs and they lay eggs and just yeah so i'm gonna go over a lot of it during my um survival series that i do like well like while i'm playing i'll explain to you what i'm actually doing so yeah for now i'm gonna have to call that the end of an episode so hope you enjoyed this video and uh see ya